lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to continue with our print and cut mini series and we're actually going to look at how you can use printable fabric. I'm going to make some bunting today. So the first thing I want to do is go to images. Now I've already bought this on a previous occasion but of course it's very easy to make your own bunting template or to upload one. And of course you don't have to be making bunting, you can make whatever you want to. So I'm going to insert image. Now I need six pieces of bunting today and I want them to go onto one A4 printable fabric sheet. As we know there are limitations with the sizes you can use using print and cut. So I'm going to make my width 2.6 inches and my height 3.2 inches and I'll then be able to get six of these onto one sheet. Now you can see it's currently set to cut. I actually want to use the pattern fill today. So I'm going to change it from a cut to a print and then you'll see the pattern fill come up. I'm going to be using the floral digital paper today from Design Bundles. I will link to it in the description below. All I need to do is add it to my cart and download it to my computer. Once it's downloaded, I can then go to Upload. I'm going to Upload Pattern. I'm going to Browse. I can then choose the pattern I want to upload. I can, of course, change the pattern name and I can also choose a theme and a style as well. Once I've done that, I can go to Save. Once it's uploaded, it will bring you back to your recently uploaded images page. You will not be able to see the upload from here because we have not uploaded an image. We have uploaded a pattern. So to get back to your canvas, just click upload again. We can then click on our bunting. We're going to change the color and we're going to go to patterns. You'll then be able to see your uploaded patterns. There's lots of patterns in here. There are paid ones, there are access ones, and of course you can upload your own as well. I'm going to choose this pattern today. And you can then see that it's filled our bunting with our pattern. So the next thing I want to do is I actually want to duplicate this so that I've got six of them. I'm then going to go to text and I'm just going to type in create and I'm just going to have a quick play with the fonts and find a font that I'm happy with. So I've chosen the font Baskerville Old Face and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it over onto one of my pieces of bunting and I'm just going to get the size correct about there. I'm then going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters. I'm then going to bring each of my letters into my bunting. Then for each of them, I'm going to highlight both the letter and the bunting. I'm going to go to align and center. And I'm going to do this for each of them so that they are completely uniform. Now I want to keep my writing in black, so all I want to do now is obviously I don't want my writing cut out, I only want my bunting cut out. So I'm just going to highlight and I'm going to flatten. And I'm going to do this for each of them. So it will print out my pattern fill and then it will print my letter as well and then my machine is going to cut out the bunting. So we can then go to make it and you can see that they're going to fit on one sheet which is perfect so we can go to continue. Now I am using my maker today. The great thing about printable fabric is you can use 
any machine with it. It doesn't matter. It comes with a kind of paper stick away backing. So it will go on your green mat and you're just going to use it the same way you would any printable material. So you do not need to have the rotary blade with this. You can just put it through any machine on your green mat. I'm using my inkjet cannon today and I'm also turning my bleed off. That's my personal preference. If you turn it on, you will get a bleed all around each of your cuts. If you do have it on, you want to make sure there is enough of a gap between each of your cut pieces. I personally choose to have mine off and I can then send it to the printer. So I'm using Crayola printable fabric today. This is the Crayola Creations one. So your printable fabric will have a white kind of, it feels, it's not fabric, but it's quite a kind of waterproofy, plasticky feeling. And then there will be a removable sheet on the back as well. You want to make sure that you are printing on the correct side. Because there is a removable backing, I like to go in with my fabric brayer and just really make sure that that is nice and stuck down before I put it in my printer, just so that we've got no areas that catch. So you can see it's now printed. We can come in and place it on a green mat. As always, I do like to let it dry for about 10 minutes because it is inkjet printed, so you do want to allow it to dry. Once it's dry, we're going to go in with our fabric brayer or a non-stick roller and you're just going to make sure that it's nice and adhered to your mat. You can, as always, go in with a scraper, but I advise using caution because you do not want to scrape away any of your ink and the other option is to cover your scraper in felt as well. For my cut setting I'm going to go to browse all materials, I'm going to go down to fabric, I'm going to come down to the P section and you'll see there is printable fabric there. Now Cricut do do printable fabric. I am not using the Cricut printable fabric today. I'm actually using Crayola Creations today. I think that this works great, but I still use the printable fabric setting. As you can see, it's telling me to load the fine point blade. You do not need the rotary blade for this, so you can use any of the machines. If you are using an Air or an Air 2, all you need to do is turn your dial to custom, and you'll then be able to choose the settings the same way that I have. <laughs> out so as always we're going to turn our mat over and we're just going to gently remove it that way we can come in with our weeding tool and we're just going to remove our excess I can't remember if I said when I was in design space, but because the bunting actually had circles out, even though we've flattened our image, it will still cut these. So I'm just going to come in and weed those out. And we can then just peel away our fabric. So you can see where we've peeled them away, they have curled slightly, that's okay. We're just going to go in for a few seconds with some heat. I'm just going to use my easy press literally for a few seconds. Make sure that you put a Teflon sheet over just to flatten them out. Now I will say that these are not waterproof, so you cannot wash them. If you want to make it waterproof, you will need to spray it with some Scotch Guard. 
So I've got my easy press mat and I've just placed my printable fabric on top of it. I've then placed the Teflon sheet on top of that and my easy press is set to 150 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds. <laughs> to note that these are not sticky on the other side if you want to adhere them to fabric you are going to need something like heat and bond equally you can sew them so that you can create something using them for example a bag and we will look at doing this in another tutorial but for this we're just going to put some thread through and we're going to make some really cute bunting mm -hmm. 